when I was younger and used to ride with my parents, my dad was always looking out on the horizon. He was always spotting deer, coyote, whatever. He had a keen eye for that. And I think I picked it up for that. And I know Snow has a story similar because we both love riding and spotting birds and wildlife and all kinds of other cool stuff. So one of the exciting things for us as we come through Brazil was the opportunity to spot wildlife again. So we don't ever know what we're going to see. You never know what the nature is going to deliver. But we're hopeful today. If you missed our last episode, then you do not know that we got caught in a really bad traffic jam, stuck for over four hours, driving on these roads in the dark, and finally at around nine o'clock found somewhere that we could sleep for the night. Well, we had a good night's sleep, so it all turned out okay. We are up and on the road at 7.30. We are still southbound. This is our third episode here on YouTube from Brazil. And it seems like all we've been doing so far is driving. And that's because it's true. <laughs> but today we hope to reach our amazing destination. Our first real destination here in Brazil. But I think we have, what, five hours? Five hours of driving. Which is a short day It's a for short us. day compared to the past couple of days. But this place is supposed to be beautiful. So let's go. So here's another one of those Haven stores. <laughs> they crack us up with their giant Statue of Liberties in the parking lot. All right, we've pulled a couple of blocks off of the main road for a grocery shopping trip. So let's go in this little supermarket, see what we can find. Grocery shopping trip looks to be a success. We've got bread, we've got olive oil, we've got empanadas for lunch, cheese, fruit, veggies. And remember when I'm showing you guys down the aisle and you're looking at prices, just divide by five to turn it into a US dollar. One thing we are definitely noticing here in Brazil, we do not stick out as much. Um, there are people that actually look like us. There's blue eyes, blonde hair, lighter colored hair. There's even tall people like Kurt. But the minute we open our mouth and start to speak, they know right away and it gets attention. Vanna has been a very good helper and helped Kurt get all the groceries put away. And the grand total for restocking up on the van, 514 re reals which is roughly a hundred US dollars. Not too bad, we got a lot of meat, a lot of veggies, a lot of fruits. I got oatmeal, we got olive oil, we accidentally got two, bread, we did good. So I grabbed this lunch from the deli counter in the grocery store. We discovered these yesterday. They're hot dogs, real hot dogs, like beef, yummy hot dogs cooked like an empanada down here, but basically they're a corn dog with no stick, right, Kurt? Mm -hmm. And they're tasty. Fan is on the dash, let's hit the road. All right, we're coming along here in the middle of farm country, not much out here. I looked out there and there's three giant, I don't know if they're ostriches or emus, snow, can I get the camera fast enough? I'm sure trying, guys. I'm Look at these things out here. Wow. They, I think they're emus because they're not as big as like ostriches, but I don't know if they're, they got to be wild. They're just out there picking. All right, Kurt popped up the drone. We're parked on the side of this major busy highway. 
We have no internet service. One thing we're learning is at least in this part of Brazil, you have internet in the towns. So when you get a couple of miles of a town, you start to get service. But in between the towns out on these farm areas, at least with our Claro SIM cards, uh, Claro is like an AT&T or a Verizon down here. We do not have service. So we cannot ask the Google if these are an animal that's wild and natural to be found here in this area or if some farmers brought some in for some reason. We will ask the Google later. But for now, there's these four giant birds, emus, ostriches, or something, walking through this field next to the road. It's crazy. We are an hour and 20 minutes from the area where we're gonna look for a place to camp. We just turned off the main road and we are on a bright orange dirt road. The dirt down here is so red, orange. Sometimes it actually looks like it's glowing. We just saw these little teeny tiny dove looking birds and they looked kind of blue green. We tried to video them. We may have gotten them. If we did, you're seeing that right now. If not, I'm probably showing you the bright orange dirt road. So we were driving down this road 80 kilometers an hour, which is around 45 miles per hour and I slammed on the brakes and I told Kurt, I think I just saw two owls sitting on a fence post. So we backed up and I was right. Two cute little owls side by side, just hanging out. Two little cute owls calls for the tripod and getting out. Kurt's gonna walk down and try to get a closer look with a steadier shot because of the tripod. We'll see how close he gets. Hopefully they don't fly away. He can't stand it. <laughs> He's got to try to get closer. I don't think we've told you guys it's much cooler today. Yesterday it was cool, but it was overcast, so we didn't know if there was something funny going on with the weather. But it's nice and sunny today, and it's about 77, 78 degrees out there in the middle of the day, which is a relief. We were afraid we were looking at... 95 and 100 degree weather down here but we've been lucky the past couple of days Kurt's on his way back from our owl adventure he's smiling like a giant kid look at him wow those things are beautiful <laughs> and their eyes and the way their head just spins around and they're watching above their heads too for something I don't know what but those things are gorgeous one flew and landed over there in the in the pile. That's why they may be burrowing owls. I don't know, but how cool! How Super cool. cool! Good eye, good spot. This is absolutely insane. We're here on the side of the road, snow smotted. Another emu. We've probably seen a half a dozen, but it's got all these little babies here. One, two, three, four, five, six. A dozen babies and they look like little pterodactyls. They're so cute. Look at them running. So the first emus we saw, Snow's first response was, I think they're maybe domesticated or whatever. And uh, we've seen them, a few of them along the way. We didn't video them all. So we know they're not. But then there's a mama and the babies just strolling around. How exciting was that? It was so cute. They ran like da -da -da -da. They were, they, were like, they were like little dinosaurs. This is turning into the bird drive. Yeah, wow. Now we have spotted two deer right on the other side of the fence line there. Oh, oh, there they go. Kurt's trying to get them with the big camera. We'll see if he gets them. I think one's a little spike. Look at how cute that is. Man, this drive has turned out to be full of surprises. All right, guys. A mile down the road from the, do you see him, Kurt? From the deer, our first real live anteater. He's gonna cross the road right here. He is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Our first ant eater in real life, Kurt. Holy crap. Did you get him? He's fast, isn't he? He's huge. Oh, wow. 
Did you get him at all? Oh man. What y'all don't know is we were driving away from the deer and Kurt literally said, thank you nature for showing us such cool stuff. And then like another 30 seconds went by, he said, can you give us an anteater or a big cat? And then I slammed on the brakes and I said, Kurt, you asked, you shall receive because there's a giant anteater in the ditch. <laughs> wow, there he goes. Ah, oh, he was so much prettier than I thought he would be. Oh, how freaking cool is this road, Kurt? Wow, amazing. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Animal palooza. <laughs> Everywhere. Like stuff we've never seen all over the place. Uh, this is why we came to Brazil. This is why we detoured. We really wanted to see this stuff and I'm excited we're seeing it. But right up in front of us, if you can see, it's like there's kind of some mountains up there or a big ridge. And it's been relatively flat through that area. Spoiler alert, we are headed into that area right up in front of us. Okay, so we are, we are about five minutes from the place where we hope to camp. There's two or three places that could be potential camp options down here. So we just plugged one in and we're gonna see how it goes. But we've been on this chattery dirt road for maybe 20 miles. We're right, right along the edge of that little mountain ridge that Kurt showed y'all earlier. And we are almost there. So it's looking all jungly and cool. And I can't wait for us to tell y'all what's out here. What brought us all the way out here besides cool wildlife. All right, we just saw, look out there, the emus. So out there in the field, there's about four or five more emus. I don't think you're gonna see them. But you will see these. Look at these beautiful herons. We've never seen them of this color. And what's really cool is while I'm sitting here filming one, they just keep flying in. <laughs> so amazing. All right, shame on us. There's a big guacamaya flying over there. But shame on us because this place is closed and it's the second option and it's locked up and it looks like maybe closed for a while abandoned and the other one is as well so we might be wild camping tonight i can tell you there's a beautiful spot up in those mountains that we're not ready to give up on but we got to find a place to stay our last resort our last option kurt's up there talking to him and you gotta remember, we don't speak Portuguese, although we have picked up a few words. Uh, but Kurt's seeing if this little restaurant is an option of somewhere to camp for the night. Cause that gate right over there by that faded sign, I think that is the entrance to where we wanna take y'all in the morning. But let's see what Kurt gets figured out. Flying over top of us. We got a place, we got Wi Fi, uh, 100 CNs so for 20 bucks for two or three nights. Let's go park. <laughs> the kitty cats, rock stars wherever we go. Hola. <laughs> All right, so we stopped in at this little convenience store, this little tienda here, and we came up with some great news. First of all, they're very friendly. However, better YouTube. <laughs> However, it is difficult without speaking some of the language. I think I'm really starting to appreciate how good my Spanish was getting now that I'm starting all over from scratch with a new language. That said, we're able to stay here for two or three nights for 100 reales, which is about 20 bucks. There is a really, really cool trail here. Spoiler alert that we want to do. So I'm talking about the owner about guide services. 
you can probably see there's little birds everywhere. Snow's over there walking Vanna. There's quackamayas, big old macaws, blue, scarlet, green parrots flying everywhere. Uh, it does have uh, a bathroom. We also have Wi-Fi out here. And we got a nice place to park the plant van. Really loving it. You guys have already seen all the wildlife we saw coming in. So I think this trail is going to lead us to some exciting stuff. But the only problem is you're going to have to wait till the next episode to see it. We'll see you guys in a few days. Cheers, Cheers. guys. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.